So we've been under this overpass for like the last couple hours trying to rest for the day. And um, we're about to leave here, but first thing I noticed was this. There's a fucking boat under this bridge. No house in sight for God knows how long. And there's a bridge under here. I think, I mean, there's, of course, there's a, bridge. there's a boat under here. I think this is probably, um, I guess, where the locals like to dump some of their shit. That's what I said. Fucking annoying, ain't it? And, um, shh. Hush. Abigail, I love you. I am in love with you, Miss Abby. You and Mormy do both. Hello, Mama. You're the prettiest little Kleekai in the world. Anyways, um. What was I saying? Yeah, I think this is like, uh. Abby, stop. I think this is like a dump for the locals. Looks like people hang out under here. There's a bunch of trash and prove that people have eaten and slept under here so we're actually getting ready to leave i didn't i didn't plan on staying under here for so long um <clears throat> hey what do people do for their birthdays oh, I, well, I want to go have a party me i'm out walking the fucking highway today <laughs> and i got another five miles before i reach bells and then when we reach bells abby what are we gonna do what are we gonna do we're gonna stay in bells for tonight hopefully and then we're gonna head straight for bonham and then from Bonham, we're going to head south, walking. Oh, yeah, we're not even doing, we're not even doing cars and train rides anymore. I had somebody ask me why I don't ride trains anymore. Um, the reason we don't actually ride trains anymore is, uh, A, the dog's protection, their safety, has always been a big thing for me. That's the reason why when I got Xena, we didn't ride that much. I think I've I think I've ridden more trains with Duke than I did with Xena. And um <clears throat> another thing is is the uh I mean I don't care about the law aspect of it. That was never a reason. But when you look at um when you look at how the traveling goes with hitchhiking and riding trains, you know, you're going from point A I'm sorry, point A to point B. <laughs> You don't get to stop and do anything along the way unless the train stops between the two. And a lot of times, it's usually out in the middle of nowhere. And I don't like that. So, my point is... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, when, when I get to walk from one town to the next, I get to stop and do basically whatever I want along the way. I can stop at a roadside park during the night and sleep. I can stop under this weird bridge in the middle of nowhere for free and sleep. I just got done taking a nap here. There's all this stuff I could do. You know, I mean, hell, the fucking pants I'm wearing right now, I found on the side of the road, as well as like three-fourths of what I'm wearing what I have for clothes all came from the side of the highway we for food we've been collecting I've been collecting wild onions to eat I love these things the dogs like to eat roadkill and go hunt and shit like that I have nothing against that I know people are going to be bitching and moaning but I'm not really worried about it I feel I feel like when I'm when I was riding trains all the time I always I always felt like I'm missing out a lot and that goes for hitchhiking too I always feel like I'm missing out on stuff I could do when I could when I'm when I'm not walking from town to town. So, I mean, I I miss riding trains all the time. I just don't feel like it's worth it anymore. <clears throat> you know, I feel like cuz even if I did get caught, I mean, if I was by myself, it's one thing, but since I got the dogs, I just I don't I don't want to risk losing them. Plus, I'm not putting that damn wagon on a train. I've done that two times and I hated it. So, anyways, we need to get you two ready. We need to get y'all's winter gear on. <laughs>